Hey guys, Adam Pancho with E3 Fire Association. Got a special guest today, this is Katrina. You know, so Katrina is a recent graduate of a uh, of class I taught recently, a two day uh, class really focused around handgun and defensive handgun. And I think your first, uh, was that your first formal class? Yes. Yeah, so first formal class ever, you know, and you know, uh, you, you came into that class, you know, you, you had, I think, I think your dad maybe taught, taught you some things in the past about, you know, just what, what basic. basic safety, you know, picking up a handgun, how to handle it safely, but really that was it, just so you don't shoot anybody Hurt at the self. range. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so you, were you carrying before, were you concealed carry before that training? Yes. Yeah, so, so you were, and you obviously still are. Yes. Yep. Um, and you're a mom, right? Yes. You know, uh, so uh, being a mom, you know, uh, that presents some unique challenges to concealed carry, I'm sure, doesn't it? Very unique. Yeah, no doubt. You know, so uh, what, um, after that two days of training, so you were carrying a gun before, mm -hmm. you know, concealed, and you went through that two days of training, and we, we hit it pretty heavy. You know, that was a fire hose in the mouth for two mm -hmm. days. Uh, we were doing a lot of stuff. Uh, boy, we were shooting from vehicles. We were doing literally doing tactics, movement tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, not just the marksmanship aspect of it, but the, the tactics, the survival piece of it, of carrying a firearm to protect you and others. Um, so having carried a gun before without formal education, just the safety basics, mm -hmm. and now, with with that you know that education you know what do you what are your thoughts now out there on the street um i feel as though after i realized how uneducated i was and how dangerous any situation might have been i didn't really think about all of the situations and handling a gun and after training it just blew me away in realizing i know nothing but now I do, and I know that there's more that I need to learn and want to learn to keep educating myself. Uh, that's great. You know, uh, you di didn't know what you didn't know, right? You know, mm -hmm. so before, you know, you had the, the safety aspect of it. You understood, mm -hmm. you know, the basic safety rules that we know, uh, or maybe you don't know. And then uh, you had probably some, I'm sure you hit the range before mm -hmm. you had shot, right? Yeah. You know, been in the range a couple of times. But there's, there's, folks, there's a big difference between marksmanship training and just you know understanding the safety aspects of a gun and actually defending your life mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in an encounter. And that's you know what we call tactics, you know, uh, you know being technically and technically proficient with firearms if you're going to conceal carry. you know so uh, you know do you, like you know we covered a lot of things in there, you know, just def defense in the home, you know mm -hmm. if, if there was a bump in the night and you had to retrieve your firearm in the night, you feel uncomfortable? Just even clearing a door, you know. Things I never thought of before where, what, what were we gonna do? What was my husband gonna do? What was I gonna do? What were we gonna reach for? Um, how were we gonna clear doorways? You know, we, you can't just get up and run. Yeah. You know, you, you could be shot. Yeah. You know, and safely handling a weapon just around my daughter, you know, you taught basic, you know, how to move your weapon without crossing anybody. And those, are, those things are huge. Maybe things you didn't think about prior yeah, to. Not at all. I just thought about putting the gun on the table, picking it up, and shooting a target. Yeah. And it, there's much more to that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and folks are always interested to know of uh, what you're carrying. You know, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So you know, you're you're, you're a mom. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you've just been through some formal training. Mm -hmm. uh, is the gun uh, the gun that you were carrying prior to that training and the setup, the holster, or whatever mm -hmm. it is, however you carry, is it the same as it was then? Now? No. What, what changed there? Um, I downsized the size of the gun okay. and also the ammo, obviously. Um, and mostly because I felt more confident in my, you know, my skills yeah. that I could go down a size and I can conceal it easier. Yeah. Um, when I carry my firearm, for instance, and I take my extra magazine, um, I put it in a place where I know I can grab it without looking and yeah. put it right into the firearm, where yeah. before I didn't think about that. Maybe I threw the extra magazine in my purse or had it on the wrong side, for yeah. instance. And um, I'm more thoughtful with, you know, my daughter around me. So those things were huge. Yeah, oh, that's really interesting. You know, those are good, good great takeaways. Um, I, you, you're primarily doing an off-body type of carry or on-body, like you, you're doing like a, a purse holster or something like that? Or how, you, how are you typically carrying? For the most part, I feel comfortable on-body. Yeah. There are situations, though, where I don't really have a choice because of an outfit. It's a little harder for women. Yeah. So I'm sometimes left with putting it in my purse. Yeah. But my purse is number one and then my daughter so i know yeah. where 
you know, she is in proximity to the purse. It's usually a wraparound body purse, so yeah. it's kind of on my body anyway. Yeah. And then I know where the firearm is. It's positioned in a way that I could reach it. Yeah. Where before, it probably was backwards. Yeah. You okay. know, before training. Because yeah. I, I never thought I might have to grab it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you know, all, all, all interesting takeaways, you know, from, you know, Katrina's a great example, folks, you know, of, you know, uh, you know, had guns, you know, a lot, you mm -hmm. know, had guns prior to this, even carried guns prior to this, had some, you know, some really basic, you know, just, you know, how to be safe and not hurt yourself type of training. And know some basic marksmanship funnels certainly hit the range occasionally, but after some formal education, mm -hmm. you know, some great takeaways of just not only, you know, how, how to shoot, but more importantly, how to maybe survive, mm -hmm. how to survive a deadly force counter, how to deal with a threat, you know, how to be a, how to be a tactician. You mentioned doorway. You know, how to deal with a doorway or, you know, a stairway or how do I move safely in my house or what am I going to do if I'm, we did vehicle stuff, mm -hmm. I believe, right? You know, yeah. so sh shoot from a vehicle mm -hmm. or, or, or more importantly, how not to shoot from a vehicle, even, even yeah. better, right? Even more important. So these are great takeaways. So Katrina is a, a great example, a graduate, you know, uh, of some training we put out there, um, you know, that, that's and probably. And a future student yeah, continuing yeah, yeah. to learn. Yeah, you know what? That's a great point, mm -hmm. Katrina. You know, uh, you know, it just do doesn't stop here it, it's continuous you know even myself well I've been doing this for a long time you know but I am forever a student you know you know the the, the second we stop that learning you know you know ha hang it up you know forever a student you know so I know Katrina's gonna get back out there get on the range again some uh, more courses and uh, and uh, you know at one, and it's enjoyable did you have fun yeah yeah. I want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, the entertain part of uh, E3, you know, that's important. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's fun, you know. And when you came, you know, you, you had your husband with you. He had a blast. Yeah. You know, it was it was a, 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 good, a good marriage event. A good event. date. Yeah, it was a great date. You know, that's a, that's a pretty solid date right there. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this segment. And, yeah, I got something out of it, especially for you uh, you moms out there. and uh, Or folks that maybe, you know, you, you've, you've been carrying a gun, you have guns, but you never received any formal training. Um, we know whether it's watching some of our videos, you know, looking through our courses or actually in an, attending in-person type of training or seminars, you're going to get a lot out of it and it's going to change your life and it's going to ultimately make you safer. So thanks for viewing and I uh, hope to see you out there on the range soon. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.